urban transport in China. Now, this topic to me is truly consequential for China's development. Talk to any person who lives in Beijing or lives in Chongqing, and they will talk, tell you about nightmares about traffic congestion. If China continues a, of just using gas cars, all that carbon dioxide emissions will actually be estimated at over a billion tons in China. So right now we have over a hundred cities in China that have over 1 million people. When GDP per capita increases, the road vehicles per capita will also increase. That the middle class dream in China has always been, as we grow rich, we want to own property, we want to own a car. The government will try to build more roads. But it's very clear that this will not be sustainable in China because the population densities here are a lot higher. Transport mode, one size does not fit all. So electric bikes are similar to bikes. Anything less than five kilometers, you are much better off taking a bike. How China has done it is that they have actually moved very quickly to build these subway lines. Why the railway system? Rail can carry a lot more traffic to the Beijing Olympic site. And so if you have to drive there, it would take three and a half hours. But on the bullet train, it would take less than an hour. We were just at the World Expo in Dubai. We visited the China Pavilion. There was a tremendous emphasis on mobility and on electric cars. A lot of what you talked about today was mentioned there. Alex is a panda expert. Uh, we sent him out to <laughs> the, the Chengdu Panda Base this past week. My name is Alex Xia. I'm from China. Now I lived in Chengdu. We see Xiong. Mao, that's a name for giant panda in Chinese. Green coat, people were new. I never been to any high risky places. Here's a panda cake. That's a key of the panda's nutrition system. Let's check out this guy. Oh, oh, he moves, he moves. If this is the male, we have one and we have two. This is around two years old. Every day they eat about 20 kilo. 43 grams was nothing. She was so little. Watching people don't know what to do. And this guy still eating pandas. They sleep quite a long time. Our baby pandas are just like human babies. How many babies do pandas have in their lifetime? Wild female pandas, three to five. China owns every panda in yeah. the entire world. So how old is the oldest panda in the park? 37 years old. I hope you all learned something about pandas and enjoyed the opportunity to, to see them today. It was just a great way to kick off our global week. So you had lots of teachers on here, lots of students, and it was just so enjoyable. He is in Taichung. Good morning. I heard there are about 250 people watching right now. My name is Joe Lucero. What time does the market start? It's from 6 p.m. to midnight. And how long you've been living in Taiwan? How long you've been learning Chinese? Well, so I've been living in Taiwan for almost 10 years. I've been learning Chinese since I was in college. Oh, it looks very fresh. Now, how much was that squid over there? It was like eat by kwai, 100. Three U.S. dollars. And uh, because of the pandemic, we have to use our phones to scan the QR code. Looks really, really good, really tasty. He's selling strawberries, and he should be able to answer some of your questions. Uh, 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 to our surprise, he actually told us he said he's an opera singer during the day. It's a really, really unique flavor of seaweed and spicy put together. Fish meat processed into fish paste and then they're boiled. And he said, I'm still single. I'm, I'm looking for a wife. If you have anybody, please introduce to me. Um, people are asking if we can see the cameraman. Say hello. Yeah, we do this in Taiwan. This <laughs> means a heart. You know what this means? What does this mean, guys? Money, right? No. <laughs> Xin dong, Xin dong. My, my heart is touched. My heart is moved. Uh, heart touching. Okay, I'm going to do that. Uh, we can meet you in person and maybe go to a night market together. I have a list of things I want to eat after watching this. Mm -hmm.